Losing your wallet these days can quickly sink you into the chaotic world of identity theft. We've seen it time and time again, most recently in the national scare caused by all those stolen identities, many of them right here, by a company called Choice Point. But what if your credit card, driver's license, even your medical records were hidden under your skin? The Jennifer Ryan shows us everyone from Alzheimer's patients to secret agents may someday get their very own barcode. Just like the barcode on a can of tomatoes, reduced to a number in a fraction of a second, and linked to a computer database, people are voluntarily being barcoded. The number stored within a tiny glass chip the size of a grain of rice and surgically implanted just under the skin. There's no scars, there's nothing. A lot of people think it is a tracking device, that they can actually GPS their kids and they can find out where they're at at all times. And I tell them that's not what this device is all about. What it is, is a VeriChip, a radio frequency ID tag by a company called Applied Digital, loaded with whatever personal information you choose. Social security number, name, insurance information, address, correct medication, contact physician. The possibilities are endless. Exclusive nightclubs in Europe allow patrons to run a bar tab, their credit card number accessed through the chip embedded in the back of their arm. This is a passive uh, RFID chip, meaning that it has no power supply in it. And a special uh, reader has to be within a few inches to get your 16-digit number. To access your computer file, a password is needed. VeriChip is about to give 200 American hospitals chip readers because the chips are only useful if they can be scanned. It's a number, you no know, different than your credit card, your social security number, or maybe your driver's license. Humans can be tracked just like your pets. The first chips are put inside dogs and cats. Now 70,000 shelters and veterinarians in America can scan a lost or injured pet and find the owner in seconds. Do you have one? No. <laughs> Any interest in possibly getting one one day? Not yet. In so fact, Verichip has yet to land its first domestic account. These Defense Department contractors in Virginia hope they'll be the first. They foresee implanting them in our military to help locate next of kin or to gain access to top secret information. Oh, right now you can be tracked by using your cell phone. Maybe it's fear of the unknown or a sort of techno paranoia about Big Brother or a crafty hacker. Unlike uh, your fingerprints or your iris scans, which once you give, you can never get back, that a Verichip can be removed and therefore the link is broken. Like the now familiar product barcode, hearings on the Hill suggest human barcodes are the future. And to think 30 years ago, Maryland lawmakers tried to outlaw this technology. Today, your groceries. Tomorrow, maybe you. Jennifer Ryan, 9 News. Barry Chips Maker says no one would ever be forced to get a chip. In fact, the individual is responsible for entering or deleting whatever information he types into his own file. As for hackers, an obvious question. The company says there are several security barriers, but no computer system, of course. Winkeldiefstal. Het kost de Nederlandse detailhandel jaarlijks 750 miljoen euro. Grote beveiligingslabels, camera's, bewakers. Niets lijkt echt te helpen. Maar nu is er de RFID-chip. Zo groot als een stofje of speldenknop. Wat je hier ziet is een schoen die beveiligd is zonder dat je dat kunt zien. En op het moment dat je bij het poortje brengt, dan gaat het alarm af. En zo worden nietsvermoedende winkeldieven totaal verrast. Er is twee jaar lang geëxperimenteerd met het onzichtbare chipje in allerlei producten. Nu lijkt het op Europese schaal ingevoerd te worden. De rolverdeling is dat de fabrikant in een fabriek het, de chip onzichtbaar aanbrengt. En dat de winkeliers in Nederland investeren in poortsystemen. Nou, die afspraken die zijn op papier gezet. En die worden op dit moment ook binnen Europa verder uitgewerkt. Bij het productieproces gaat het chipje dus al in het artikel. En bij het afrekenen wordt de chip automatisch gedeactiveerd. En dat scheelt tijd. Het grote voordeel is dat dus voor de DTIist dat, uh, dat hij het niet meer hoeft aan te brengen en niet meer hoeft af te halen. Het grote voordeel uh, voor de consument is dat het niet stoort in zijn verkoop. Er zitten geen grote plastic dingen maar aan kledingstukken bijvoorbeeld. Het zit er allemaal netjes in verwerkt. Bouwmarktketen Gamma heeft het systeem al deels ingevoerd. Er werden afspraken gemaakt met drie leveranciers. 
Dat is dusdanig succesvol verlopen dat we nu in een sneltreinvaart al onze andere leveranciers aan het benaderen zijn. En we hopen voor het eind van het jaar alle leveranciers aangehaakt te hebben bij dit project. En dan is alles hier onzichtbaar beveiligd. Dan zijn alle diefstalgevoelige producten zijn onzichtbaar beveiligd. Een van die artikelen is deze dimmer. Het is vrijwel onmogelijk om erachter te komen waar de beveiliging zit. Ik kan het label niet ontdekken. Geen idee? In de knop? In de knop zelf. Hierin. De techniek die zich nu aftekent, die RFID, die kleine chip, dat is inderdaad denk ik het antwoord in de zoektocht waar winkeliers en fabrikanten lange tijd mee bezig zijn geweest. This morning on Today's Health, a computer chip that could be implanted under your skin so the doctors can quickly access your medical records. The FDA just gave a Florida company the go-ahead to do it. You might recall about two years ago, a family was implanted with a Vera chip right here on the Today Show. Scott Silverman is the chairman and CEO of Applied Digital Solutions, the maker of the Vera chip. Scott, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Lester. Explain to me briefly what the Vera chip is and what it is supposed to do. Vera chip is a tiny miniaturized RFID or radio frequency identifier identification microchip. It's 11 millimeters by 1 millimeter. It's about the size of a grain of rice. Well, we've got one sitting there by a penny to, uh, to give us a little perspective of the size. Very Correct. tiny. You implant it under the skin how? It gets injected, just like getting a shot of penicillin or any medicine that you would get in a doctor's office. It goes in the upper right arm, which is the area that our physicians have chosen for ease of access as well as biocompatibility. And in a minute we'll talk about how you scan it, but tell sure. me what information is on that, why that would be of great use if I show up in an emergency room. Yeah, on the chip itself is only a unique identification number. And Verichip can be used for the medical application as well as the security or a financial application. In the case of a medical application on a database that ties to the chip, you can provide all your medical information such as medical device information, medical records, and personal information. You choose what information goes on there and you choose the type of affiliates such as emergency rooms that could have access to that information. Is, is this the same thing that I have implanted under my dogs? I, they did, I know this sounds horrible, but they did something on my dogs where if it gets lost you right. can match the dog. Actually, up. it's not horrible. Um, our sister company, Digital Angel Corporation, manufactures a product that Shearing Plow distributes by the name of Home Again. Home Again is the implantable microchip for dogs and cats. Same technology. Same technology. Millions of them a year go into dogs and cats around the world. In fact, a few weeks ago here on the Today Show, you had the American Kennel Club who actually scanned some, a dog on national television with our chip and our scanner. That's All right, enough about dogs now. Yep. Again, you go to the emergency room, this information is there, but to access this, the hospital has to have a scanning device. How soon will hospitals have the technology to match up with this chip? Well, thanks to the FDA and their diligent work over the last two years, we now have the clearance to go to market with both the chip and the scanner. All right, it's, show it, me how this works. You've sure. got a scanner here, and you have a chip implanted is it under, underneath your right it's arm? It's in the right arm. You power up a scanner, right. and you simply scan the arm. And once you scan the arm, You'll see that the identification okay, and, information... And on, our, on the laptop here you have it hooked up to, it says some number. But that doesn't tell me anything about your health condition now. They, from that number, they access your health Right, records. that's correct. If you go into further detail on the database about Scott Silverman, it'll have my driver's license information, it'll have medical information, it'll have financial information, and it'll have security information for ingress and egress into facilities. All right, you hear the sound of the background, people saying, Big Brother, too much information, a little scary. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, it's interesting. I used to get that question a lot lot two years ago. Uh, today, we've gotten it a lot less. In fact, uh, the Attorney General of Mexico and some of his staff have received this chip for security purposes. And when the acceptance rate of the product goes up significantly like it has, some of the privacy concerns go down. But to answer your question directly, Lester, what most people are concerned with is the invasiveness of this, that it goes in your body. And as we know with pacemakers and other medical devices, that when people accept it for its applications and for its ability is when it will work its way into society. It won't be tomorrow, it won't be next week, but two, three, five years from now, slowly but surely, it will work its way into the mainstream. All right, Scott Silverman, thanks very much for coming Thank on. Thank you. Doctors want to place a computer chip under your skin. Sound bizarre? It could save your life. You're watching Fox 5 News at 10. What New Yorkers watch works for shopping. If some have their way, you'll be scanned too. Find out why. Coming up in just a few minutes.
It's hard to wrap your brain around all the technology available today. Imagine having your entire medical history embedded under your skin. Sounds great, right? Well, you haven't heard the other side. Dr. Steve Salvatore takes a look at the Verichip. There's a couple times I've been put in the hospital and I was unable to communicate that I was a diabetic and what medications I was on. Molly Phillips hopes her worst nightmare never happens again. To make sure, she had a new device called the Verichip, a computer chip about the size of a grain of rice placed under her skin. The Verichip is a device in which we have programmed into it a number, a, a, a regular serial number which is matched to a database, a secure lockdown computer database. That oh, database that okay. contains nice. Molly's nice entire medical record, everything from her diabetes to the exact dose and type of medication she's on. Hackensack University Medical Center is the first hospital in our area testing the new technology.